Hello again, everyone. It's your boy, Jeff, doing yet another contest entry. Um, just found out about this one today as I film this. It will probably be uploaded tomorrow or the day after. But um, Mike Guitar Player 07 has also crossed the 300 sub mark. So congratulations, Mike. That's awesome. Um, yeah, just uh, he's, he's one of my favorite channels, too. Uh, interacted with him a lot you know, on, on Facebook and texting and stuff like that. We've even had phone conversations. It's been awesome. So I want to, I certainly want to support uh, his channel and jump into this contest. So once again, congrats, Mike. It's well-deserved. You deserve thousands and millions of subs. So I'm hoping that this contest does very well for you. Okay. But this is also a simple contest, which is what Jeffy likes. So... Three questions, which is pretty simple. So the first one, what is one of your most listened to records? Um, uh, kind of hard to pick because there's a lot, but one album or one even band that I don't think I've really talked about that much personally on my channel, although of course I know other people have, is Led Zeppelin. And um, for my money, Led Zeppelin 4 is just a perfect album. Here's the back. This is, uh, this copy is from the Jimmy Page remaster series that came out a couple of years ago. <clears throat> right around the time when I was wanting to track down all of the Zeppelin albums, or most of the Zeppelin albums on vinyl, this uh, these got released. So... I picked up uh, this copy of four, and um, what can you say? It's 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 eight tracks long, but every single track is just a perfect jewel, and um, just like with uh, Dark Side, you know this this is an album that came out in the early '70s. By the time I was in high school, which was mid to late '80s, I mean there were so many people that were still listening to these records, and you know analyzing the meaning of Stairway to Heaven and stuff like that. So probably Led Zeppelin's quintessential album, arguably. Um, recorded perfectly. Um, you even have the famous story of how um, they recorded John Bonham's drums for When the Levee Breaks, which was the album, this is the album's closing track. Um, <laughs> I think I told that story in an earlier video, but uh, very quickly he was hitting the drums so hard that he was blowing out the mics, you know, trying to record them. So they ended up, they, they recorded the album in a castle. So they ended up dangling the mics down from above to capture his drum sound. And of course it gave it that kind of ethereal, almost ghostly sound texture to it too. Really great stuff. And of course, what else can you say? It's Led Zeppelin 4. It's one of the all-time great albums. So that's my answer to that question. <clears throat> Set this over here. The next question. First record ever purchased or the first record you ever got? This one's easy. I've showed this um, in past videos. The first album I ever got that I asked for, this was actually a Christmas present in 1983. Hall & Oates, Rock and Soul Part 1. Unfortunately, there's never been a part two. That's a shame, but we'll always have part one here. This would probably probably also be one of my most played albums. Um, love Hollow Notes. And um, I distinctly remember getting this on Christmas Day of 1983. <laughs> and I even had the 45 single of Say It Isn't So, which was one of the two new tracks that was on this album. So... Yeah, I, I've shown this one several times before, but whenever this type of question among your first albums come up, it's the answer. Rock and Soul Part 1 by Hall Notes. Another classic. Third question. A personal story that you'd like to share about your collection. Something along those lines. Um, I've received... Over my 
I don't know, career here in the VC, which will be three years in August. Um, I've received some just incredibly generous VCLT, a uh, few things that have almost brought me to tears. Um, but the greatest gift that I've gotten has been, of course, my wife, who enjoys music just as much as I do. Slightly different taste than mine. Um, her tastes run a lot harder than mine, mostly. Um, but she has been a godsend in terms of having someone to listen to music to, talk about music with, and, and it's just, she's like the perfect partner for me. All that said, some of the things that she's given me over the years has been pretty spectacular and including grails, which I tried picking just one and <laughs> I really couldn't because there's been too many, but there is one set that I, I'm going to show to answer this question and it's really heavy. Oh, and I think I just showed this recently in my box sets video. Um, <laughs> it's this. It's the David Bowie Five Years box set. This came out a couple of years ago. Um, and it, I have to set this down because it's just too goddamn heavy. I'm, I'm actually resting my arm on it right now. So <laughs> um, she got that for me as a complete surprise for Christmas a couple of years ago because I remember... Um, seeing a notice of it being released and how it covered um, so many albums of his that I didn't own yet and back then I was kind of on a David Bowie um, streak I was trying to track down all of his albums from like you know his first one Space Oddity through like Scary Monsters you know like from like 1969 through 1980 81 and I looked at this online, I saw its, its notice of its impending release, and I thought, oh my god, that would be like an instant Bowie collection. It would like just jumpstart my uh, collection of David Bowie all in one shot. But I looked at the price, and I was like, oh man, you know, because it was like, it was a couple hundred bucks, I think. And I was like, damn it. You know, I'm like, well, maybe it'll go on sale someday. Or maybe the price will drop. Or maybe I'll find it somewhere. Da, 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 da. And a lot of times, you know, she'll watch me. And I know the wheels are turning in her head. And <laughs> she goes, oh, okay. You know, she's just kind of nodding her head. Like, oh, that'd be really cool. Da, 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 da. So... Christmas rolls around and she was acting really nervous. And I'm like, what's what's going on with you? And she was waiting for for this box to arrive. She's like, one of, you know, a present for you is coming, but it's running late. I'm hoping it gets here in time. Da 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 da. da. And I'm like, okay, it, 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 whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be fine. So this gigantic box arrives. And she wraps it. And she sticks it under the tree and she tells me what every, what every <laughs> words that every husband is a little scared of hearing from their wife. I hope you like it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so Christmas Day comes around and she held that one off to the very end. She's like, this will be the last present you open. And I'm like, all right. So... We go through our present opening routine. And by the time we get to the end, you know, she pushes this gigantic box over to me. And I'm like, what the hell is this thing? And it turns out it was all padding on the inside. It was shipped and, or packaged very well and shipped very securely. It was uh, this gigantic box with all this foam inside. And in the center was this. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> And she's like, Merry Christmas. I love you. I love you too, honey. She's sitting right behind the camera. 
Um, so yeah, that's I've I've received, like I said, insanely generous gifts from a lot of you out there in the BC, but um, nothing really tops what my wife gives me every day. And this is just the tip of the iceberg as far as that goes. So, uh, and it's like like 10 albums I think are in here and there's, there's a live album and there's two um, albums worth of um, alternate tracks and takes and stuff like that. It's, it's a wonderful set. I don't even know if it's still available anymore, but this will be one of the things that uh, I'm hoping will be with me forever, just like her. <laughs> All right, I have to set this down, otherwise my leg is gonna fall asleep. Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's pretty much the answer to that third question. Um, once again, Mike, congratulations on your milestone, your sub milestone, it's well-deserved. And I will put a link to his channel in the description below. So if you haven't yet, please check out my guitar player 07's channel. Um, shows a wide variety of music. You know, it's it's never just one genre or one thing. There's nothing, you know, there's nothing to get bored of watching his his channel because he always shows something new, always something different. You never know what you're gonna get, which makes it exciting. So, and he's fun to watch too. So, um, yeah, I hope, uh, hope this contest does well for you, Mike. I hope you like this entry and I hope all of y'all jump in the contest too. It'll be fun. So till next time, peace everyone. You get the double peace sign today. It's your boy Jeff and I'll see you.